So find a comfortable seated position. You can sit directly on the floor or on a pillow, blanket. Cross your legs. And you start to move to shift your torso side to side. Then you start to move like a small circles. Into the other side. And eventually find the center where you feel your head above your shoulders and your shoulders above your pelvis. Having your arms by your side, fingertips touching the ground, elongate your spine, feel the sides of your body long, spacious. So as you inhale, reach your right arm up. And as you exhale, side bend to the left. Keep reaching through your right arm as you inhale and grounding through your pelvis as you exhale. Inhale, both arms reaching up. And as you exhale, second side, side bend to the other side, reaching through the left arm as you inhale. Grounding through your left sit bone as you exhale. Inhale, both arms reaching up. As you exhale, lower your hands forward and fold. Take a moment here to allow your neck and head to relax. Relax your shoulders. As you inhale, we start to walk our hands back to your legs. And let's switch the cross of our legs. So the other leg will be in front. And having again your fingertips by your side, spine really long as you inhale, reach both arms to the ceiling. As you exhale, we're gonna twist your torso to the right and you're gonna place your left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Elongate your spine as you inhale, twisting from the midline as you exhale. Next, inhale, untwist, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist your torso to the left, lower your hands. Right hand, left knee, left fingertips behind, lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale, twisting a little deeper from your belly, inhale, untwist, reach up, exhale, lower your arms in front of you, and once again, fold. As you inhale, we start to walk our hands back to your legs. And let's pause here for a moment. Feel free to readjust your legs. Relax your hands on your legs, on your knees. Close your eyes for a moment. And connect to your breath as you inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale slowly through your nose. Feel free to add Ujjayi breath as you bring a slightly constriction to the back of your throat. Narrow 
the passage of the air so you're gonna hear this sound of her breath the sound of the ocean you're gonna do a very simple meditation here for just two minutes maybe I'd like you to think about your inhale bringing the air the new into your body and exhaling letting go the old everything that you don't need anymore So every time that you exhale, you have this opportunity to get empty, to create that inner space. And every time that you inhale, you have this opportunity to start again. So we don't have to need for uh, we don't have to wait for another day, another week, another month to restart to make new resolutions, to find motivation. On each breath, you have this opportunity to start again. this moment right here right now that you that is the only moment that really exists so you let go of the past forget about the future and let's connect to our breath as a way to anchor our attention. So every time that you inhale, you're gonna mentally repeat right here. And as you exhale, mentally repeat right now. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. complete your next exhalation bring your hands together in front of your heart inhale lift your heart to your hands and exhale bow your head to yourself setting up an intention here may this practice may this moment be able to ground our mind into our body to connect with ourselves so we can strive and be the better version that we can be today. Release your hands and come to tabletop position. Let's start with cat and cow movement. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your gaze, and as you exhale, round your spine, press the floor away. Inhale, extend your spine, move your shoulders back. And exhale, round your spine, press the floor. 
feel free to, to try to experience any other movement variation in this tabletop position. Awake your spine, connect to your body. The language of the body is through sensations. So we start to pay close attention to the sensations of your body. After a few rounds of this movement, I'm gonna ask you to walk your hands forward, big step with your hands, and press through your hands, shift your pelvis back to child's pose, but keep looking forward. Keep lifting your elbows out of the ground, pressing through your hands, maybe having your hands a little wider than your shoulders. As you inhale, you're gonna come through tabletop and lower your pelvis. You don't have to lower too much and shift your shoulders back. And as you exhale, press through your hands, shift your pelvis back to your heels. As you inhale through tabletop, lower your pelvis, lift your chest, draw your shoulders down and back and exhale pelvis back to your heels. Let's take two more rounds. Inhale, forward and down, lift your heart, press through your hands, and exhale pelvis back to your heels. Next time you hold the inhalation, you hold this extension of your spine as you shift your pelvis forward and up. And now, as you exhale, drop all the way to your belly. Adjust your legs, lengthen your legs, keep pressing the top of your feet down, reach your arms back. Interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades in. Inhale, lift your chest in this variation of cobra pose. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades in. Keep lengthening your tailbone all the way towards your heels as you lift your pubic bone towards your navel. One more breath. And exhale, release. Place your hands by your side, beside your chest. Squeeze your elbows in, press through your hands. Inhale, baby cobra again. Hold. You know that you are in baby cobra because you lift your hands off of the ground and you stay in the same position. Let's hold here for two more breaths. Keep pressing through your hands. Imagine that you're going to create this action of twisting your hands out to the side. So as you keep that action of twisting, you're going to see that you can externally rotate your shoulders even more. One more breath. And as you exhale, come to, through tabletop, tuck your toes under, and downward facing dog. Let's do our first down dog here with our knees slightly bent to really emphasize the length of the spine, the sides of our body. Keep pressing equally through both hands, creating the same action of twisting our hands out to the side so we can keep externally rotating our shoulders. And maybe now you will lengthen your right heel towards the ground. Bend your right knee and alternating here, left heel towards the ground. And switch. And switch one more time. Both heels up, pelvis up, and as you exhale, gently lower both heels to the ground. Inhale, pressing equally through both hands, right leg reach up. As you exhale, allow your pelvis to open to the right, so right pelvis over the left, Bend your right knee, squeeze that right heel towards your left glute. Inhale, untwist, level your pelvis. 
as you exhale, you're going to step outside your right hand. Pivot your back heel down. Okay, so hold here. And squeeze your outer right hip in. Tailbone reaching back towards your left heel. And you're going to walk your hands, your fingertips to the left. So imagine that you're going to reach the left corner of your mat or even more to the, to the left side. Reaching through the right hand, through the right arm, feeling that space on the right side of her body. Inhale, walk her hands back under shoulders. And as you exhale, you're gonna place her back knee to the ground. So in this, in this lizard pose, hold here, inhale, hugging your knees towards each other. Imagine that you're gonna drive actually your right heel towards the back of her mat and your left knee towards the front of her mat. Start to awake those inner thighs, lengthening through the chest, one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, all the way to downward facing dog. Press through both hands, lifting your pelvis, releasing your head in between your biceps. Next, inhale, left leg reach up, pressing equally through your hands. Exhale, open your pelvis to the left, bend your left knee, Squeeze your right heel towards your right, your left heel towards your right glute. Inhale, arm twist, level your pelvis. Exhale, step outside your left hand. Back heel down, ground, hug that left hip in, and walk your hands to the right. So reach more through your left fingertips. Release your head in between your biceps. Keep pressing through your heels. Keep hugging your legs towards each other. Next, inhale. Let's walk our hands back under shoulders. Lift our back heel up. Exhale, back knee to the ground further back, not under your pelvis. And even when you shift your pelvis slightly forward, Keep hugging your legs towards each other. Keep driving your front heel, left heel, towards the back of your mat, right knee forward. Keep hugging your left knee in, aligning that knee with the second toe. And now all the way to downward facing dog. Keep pressing through your hands, inhaling right here, and exhale. We are going to walk our hands back to the feet, so all the way to the back of our mat, Uttanasana. Have your feet hip distance apart. As you inhale, lift halfway, feel free to slightly bend your knees. As you exhale, left fingertips to the ground, bend your left knee even more, and reach your right arm up. So keep moving your uh, right sit bone back, so right pelvis away from your right armpit. And if it's uncomfortable for you to reach your arm up, keep your hand on your lower back. One more breath, and exhale, reach. Let's reach our right fingertips to the floor, slightly bend your right knee, and now reach your left arm up. And again, keep moving your left pelvis away from your left armpit, and twisting from the midsection, from the belly, opening your chest to the left side. And release. Let's open our stride here for Malasana squat position. So bring your hands together, elbows inside your knees. I'd like you to press your elbows against your knees, but with your knees, hug your elbows. If for you it's not available to squat, please come to a higher version 
of this pose. Hold, breathe, balance those actions of pressing your knees out, of hugging your knees in, awakening that hip, all those muscles around our hip joint. Lifting your chest, one more breath. And as you exhale, release, you're gonna prepare to stand, okay? So first, fold, adjust your legs. So again, you have your feet parallel to each other, hip distance apart. Inhale, lift halfway, engage your spinal muscles, and exhale, fold. And now all the way up, inhale, all the way stand, reach up, look up, exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to interlace our hands, inhale, reach the palms of our hands up to the ceiling, ground through your legs, exhale, side bend to the left, but twist and look to the right. Keep grounding through your legs. Keep lifting your lower belly in. Back to the center, inhale. Find here the balance. Exhale to the other side. Side bend to the right. Slightly twist to the left. Ground through your legs, especially through the left heel. Back to the center, inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward. We're going to start our Surya Namaskar A from the back of our mat. Inhale, lift halfway. And as you exhale, walk your hands all the way to plank pose. So as you come here to plank, you're going to have your shoulders over wrists. And you're going to engage your belly. So your lower belly in and tailbone reaching slightly back. Hold here, pressing the floor. Imagine that you're gonna hug your hands towards each other. You're gonna feel your chest muscles, and maybe imagine that you're gonna drive your heels, the heel of your hand, towards your feet, and you're gonna engage more your core. One more breath, knees to the ground, and exhale all the way, pelvis, belly, and chest. Cobra pose. Hands beside your chest, roll your shoulders back, squeeze your elbows in, create the action of twisting your hands out to the side, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. That is your mantra, the mantra of your breath, inviting you to be here in this present moment. Next, inhale, we're gonna look to your hands, but as you exhale, your hands will walk all the way to your feet. Lift halfway, inhale, Exhale and fold over legs. Inhale, stand up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Interlace your hands. Inhale, palms of our hands reaching up, sides of our body long. Exhale, side bend to the left. Ground more through your right leg and reach more through your right arm. Back to the center, inhale, find the balance, exhale to the other side, lower belly in, inhale to the center, exhale, release your hands forward and fold, lift halfway, inhale, and exhale, walk your hands all the way to plank pose. One more time, we hold plank, press through your hands, strong legs, reaching toward, uh, back with your heels, 
and you're gonna create the action of hugging your hands towards each other, awakening your chest muscles and driving your hands back to your heels to awake your core. One more breath, breath through your hands, exhale, knees down, pelvis, belly, chest. Feel free to do other variation of cobra, okay? So roll your shoulders back, create the action of twisting your hands out, and for a higher version of cobra, keep your pelvis down, reaching your heart forward, and hugging your elbows in. Inhale here. Exhale, transition to downward facing dog. Grounding through your breath. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. One more breath. Next inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to your feet. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fall. Inhale, pressing down, reach up, look up, exhale, hands to your heart. Little different this beginning, inhale, arms overhead and reach. Now as you exhale, reach your arms back, interlace your fingers. See if you can squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, keep, this, keep your elbows micro bent here and hug them in. Start to extend your arms, not all the way. I don't want you to hyperextend your elbows. Keep your chest lifted. Keep pressing through your legs. Inhale. As you exhale, soften your knees. Fold towards your legs. Relax your head. Maybe shake on your head. No. Maybe shaking your head, yes. Stay right here, relax your head, and imagine without uh, releasing your hands, imagine that the palms of your hands want to move away from each other. And then release your hands, inhale, lift halfway, and as you exhale all the way to plank pose. Hold plank, press the floor, inhale. Exhale all the way to the ground. I'm gonna add Shalabhasana, Locus Pose. So reach your arms back, lift the head of your shoulders, lower belly in, lift your legs, lift your arms. Keep looking forward and down, move your ears away from your shoulders. One more breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Inhale right here, exhale right now. One more breath. Next inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, stand up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Utkatasana, fierce pose, hinging from your pelvis, bending your knees, reaching your arms up. Stay here, pressing the floor with your feet, moving your seat bones back and apart, and draw your lower ribs in. So actually your front ribs move towards your back ribs. So you keep the natural curves of your spine, 
Keep reaching through your arms if that's available. If not, keep your hands in front of her chest. One more breath. And exhale, fold over your legs. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Hold plank so you can keep going all the way to your belly or we can add chaturanga. So this first chaturanga, I'm going to ask you to bring your knees down. Inhale, look forward. Notice that your knees are not under your pelvis. They are really behind, but your shoulders are still over your wrists. Look forward, keep pressing your hands down, twisting your hands out, exhale. You're going to shift forward, bend your elbows lower halfway. Keep hugging your elbows in. You don't go lower than your elbows, so keep your sh shoulders at least in line with your elbows. And slowly lower your pelvis down. Extend your arms. Press through the top of your feet. Elevate your legs for up dog. Cobra and Shalabhasana Lotus poses is still available. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to reach our right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, open your pelvis to the right. You can look under your right arm, but resist the tendency of dropping your left armpit to the ground. Inhale, untwist, level your pelvis, extend your leg. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, back and up, three leg down dog. Exhale, step forward, high lunge, keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, rise, arms overhead, exhale here. So let's hug our legs towards each other to awake our inner legs, lower belly in, stay on the ball of our back foot, engaging our left glute, one more breath. As you exhale, dragonfly twist, reaching your left fingertips to the ground, circle your right arm all the way up. Hugging your outer hips in, moving your right pelvis back, left pelvis forward. From here, inhale. As you exhale, we are going to walk our hands all the way to the left, and you're going to make your feet parallel to each other. Prasarita Padottanasana. So inhale, lift your chest halfway. And exhale, walk your hands in between your feet and fold here. Just allow your head to relax towards the ground. Your legs are still strong, stable. Inhale, lift halfway, elongate your spine. As you exhale, you're going to start to bend your left knee. So it's not skandasana. You're going to stay in kind of this squat position on the left leg. Hold. Breathe. You can even use the left elbow. I'm sorry that I'm facing back to you. I'm going to switch just for a moment so you can see. You can even use your left elbow against your left knee to keep your knee in line with your second toe. So this is squat, not skandasana yet. I'm going to come back to my regular pose. <laughs> Inhale. And as you exhale, let's come all the way to warrior two, facing the top of our mat. So just open your right toes to face forward, bend your right knee, and reach through your arms. Lower belly in, right sit bone under. Keep hugging your legs towards each other. At the same time, keep moving them apart. Inhale, reverse, reach your right arm up and over. Your left arm could be on your left leg, could be around your waist. You can look up to the ceiling. You can look down to your left foot. Inhale, through warrior two. 
exhale, bring your hands down. Let's come to runner's lunge. So adjust here. Inhale, looking forward. As you exhale, you're gonna slide that right foot halfway back. And you're gonna plant your left hand to the ground, turn your toes to the right, and this Vashistasana variation side plank, you're gonna have both feet grounded and your left, your left hand will reach your right arm up. Squeezing the side of your body, keep coming a little higher. Don't sink on your left shoulder. Keep pressing away from the floor. And exhale, let's come to plank pose. In plank, it's your choice to come to your knees, to come halfway, chaturanga, or all the way to the ground. For chaturanga, shift forward, lower halfway, hug elbows in, come to the top of our feet, shift forward, up dog, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Pressing equally through both hands. Inhale, left leg, reach up. Exhale, open your pelvis to the left, bend your knee. You can even twist and look to the left side under your left arm, but keep resisting your right armpit away from the ground. Inhale, untwist, level your pelvis. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, shift your shoulders over wrists, round your upper back. Inhale, back and up, three leg down dog. Exhale, step forward. High lunge first. Inhale, rise. Exhale, here. So lifting your lower belly, engaging your back leg, engaging your right glute. So we are not looking to sink down, we are looking to move up. So reaching the sides of your body. And imagine that your right pelvis wanna move forward and imagine that you want to drive your left leg all the way back. One more breath. Exhale, right fingertips to the ground on your shoulder. Circle your left arm up, dragonfly twist. See if you can hug your outer hips in and still left pelvis moving back. Twisting from the midline, from your belly. And exhale, lower your hand down. Let's walk our hands now to the right. Adjust your feet so they are parallel to each other and in the same line. Inhale, lift halfway, engage your legs. Exhale, walk your hands back in between your feet and allow your spine to relax here. Allow your head to release. Allow your mind to shift to this present moment, right here, right now. Lift halfway, inhale, hands again, other shoulders. And as you exhale, we're gonna bend our right knee for that squat position, not skandasana yet, so pelvis up. And your pelvis is almost in line with your knees. It may be a little higher. And you can even use your elbow against your knee to press your knee out. But I'd like you to resist to make a counter action here with your knee pressing your elbow so you feel the engagement of your inner leg. We're gonna need that when we come to work. So from here, you're gonna open your left toes out to the side and shift all the way to your left knee, bending now your left knee, keeping your right leg extended. Feel your pelvis level, the front of your pelvis, hip bones level, lower belly in. So lift those, lift those hip bones, tailbone to the ground, open your arms out to the side. Legs strong, maybe sitting a little deeper. You're gonna inhale, reverse. You're gonna reach your left arm up and over. And you can keep your right hand on your leg, around your waist. You can look up. 
you can look down to your back foot. One more breath. And as you exhale, circle your hands to the ground. Come to runner's lunge for a moment. Planting through your hands to slide your front foot halfway back. Right hand grounded. Turn your, your shoulder away from her ear. Draw that shoulder blade down to your back. Turn your toes to the left. Come to the outer edge of her right foot and reach her left arm up. Keep squeezing the side of her body, lifting her pelvis a little higher. One more breath. And exhale, hands to the ground. Here you had the chance to do your transition again. Inhale, look forward. Option to bring your knees down. Exhale, Chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, roll over your feet, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, right here. Exhale, right now. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Lift halfway as you inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale and fold. Come to Utkatasana, fierce pose, bend your knees, sitting low, reaching high, hold as you exhale, drive those lower ribs in, front ribs towards your back ribs, keep your pelvis moving back, one more breath, and exhale, fold forward again, lift halfway, inhale, Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Feel free to skip vinyasa and go straight to down dog. Exhale, lower halfway if you are doing the vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Reaching your right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, open your pelvis to the right. Again, resist of the tendency to drop her left armpit. Inhale, up twist, level your pelvis. Exhale, knit your nose around your upper back. Inhale, back and up, three leg down dog. Exhale, you're gonna step forward, closer to your right thumb. Pivot your back heel down. Let's come to warrior one. So warrior one, your pelvis facing forward, back heel grounded, and you can even have a wider stride here. So uh, when we say pelvis facing forward, I don't want you to force your pelvis to turn forward. I was just asking for you to have your back foot kind of angled 45 degrees. It's different than warrior two, that we have your foot parallel to the back of her mat. So now your back foot is 45 degrees, slightly in, and you turn from her belly, from left to right. Yes, so keep her back heel grounded, left glute engaged, and turning from your belly, turning your chest. So reach your arms up for a moment as you inhale. So moving away from her pelvis instead of sinking down, Exhale, reach your arms back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your belly, chest, and your gaze as you squeeze your shoulder blades in. And exhale, humble warrior, you're gonna fold inside your right leg. Keep moving your hands away from your pelvis. Keep hugging your outer hips in, hugging your legs towards each other. You're gonna release your hands, come to your fingertips, inhale, lift your back heel up, 
And as you exhale, you're gonna twist here that dragonfly that we did before. Mm -hmm. So twisting your belly from left to right. You can use, press your hand, you can even press your hand against your thigh to twist a little deeper. Keep your pelvis level. All right. And now you're gonna reach your right fingertips to the ground again. And you're gonna slide your, back, your front foot halfway back. This is different now. We're gonna go through side plank, but you're gonna lower your pelvis and reach back to your heel. So you're not sinking on your shoulder, not sagging here. Keep pressing and you're gonna lower your pelvis to feel that side stretch here. Reaching back, inhale, lift your pelvis, reach up and over. And exhale once again, reaching back. Inhale, up and over, in, engage the side of your body, and exhale, reaching back. All right, inhale, up and over, and now as you exhale, all the way, you're gonna do a skandasana on the right leg, okay? So you're gonna walk your hands to the left side, but you're gonna bend your right knee, so you go to a deeper squat here. So it's not like the one that we did before. With, and of course, if you, you have any knee issue, that's the version that you're gonna do. If that's okay for your knees, you're gonna squat a little deeper, turn your left toes to the ceiling. And again, with your arm, press your knee, your right knee out to the side. With your knee, hug your arm in. Inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, coming a little higher and walking your hands to face forward again. And exhale, plant, uh, move back to plank pose. Hold here in plank. You can go straight to our facing dog or shift forward, lower halfway, option to go to the ground, up dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, down dog. Left leg to the ceiling, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open your pelvis to the left. Keep avoiding that sensation of dropping your armpit. Inhale, untwist, level your pelvis. Exhale, knee to your nose, round your upper back. Inhale, back and up. And exhale, step closer to your left thumb, back heel down, rise up. Again, ground through your back heel, engage your right glute, twist your torso from right to left. Lower belly in, hip bones up, arms up. One more breath in this warrior one, reaching through your arms to move away from your pelvis and not to sink down. Exhale, reach your arms back, interlace your fingers. Lift your chest, belly gaze as you inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, you're gonna fold inside your left shin. Keep hugging your left hip in. Keep lengthening your tailbone towards your back heel. Keep moving your hands away from your pelvis. All right, release your hands to the ground and lift your back heel up. Dragonfly twist, reach your left arm up or even press your left hand against your left thigh to twist a little deeper, using your arms as levers here so you move more, you twist more from right to left. All right, bring your left hand to the ground slide your left foot halfway and you're gonna come for a moment to this side plank variation so you come to the outer edge of your right foot inhale exhale lower your pelvis reaching back so almost touch the ground of your pelvis but keep pressing your right hand strongly against the ground inhale 
lift your pelvis, reach up and over, it's almost like a rainbow. Exhale, lower your pelvis, reaching back. Inhale, up and over, reach, and exhale, lower your pelvis. Now inhale, up and over, reach, and now let's walk our hands to the right, but you're gonna bend your left knee and lift your right toes. Feel free to lift your heel up, there's no problem, okay? Feel free to keep in that higher version that we did before. Or hold here, Skandasana. Breathe. So even here, I'm moving my legs towards each other. I'm hugging my um, right heel towards the center. One more breath. And as you exhale, let's move to the top of the mat. Inhale, plank pose. And your choice to meet me in Downward Dog. So feel free to flow, to move. Hold and breathe. Inhale right here. Exhale completely. Inhale, we're going to reach your right leg up. Exhale, you're going to step forward. And you're going to plant your left hand to the ground. Same position, but not sliding your front foot back, not anymore. You're going to roll to the outer edges of your feet. You may feel that it's a little stronger to your pelvis, so of course you can adjust your legs as, as appropriate and hold here. All right. Breathe. Inhale. That's a, such a nice stretch for the high T bend. And all the way, let's do a skandasana, bending our right knee. So now use the help of your hands so you actually sit down, okay? If that's too much, you can always use something under your pelvis. So as we sit down here, you're gonna press your right elbow and right knee against each other, and you're gonna twist your torso to the left. So it's a variation of Marichasana twist here. You're gonna go all the way to runner's lunge, facing the top of her mat, and exhale straight to down dog. Inhale, left leg reach up. Exhale, step forward. Plant your right hand, come to the outer edges of her feet. So you're gonna turn your toes to the left, lower your pelvis, reaching back. You may feel a little stronger on her pelvis. Feel free to adjust. I feel a little more on my left hip. It's kind of stiff today. And now let's walk our hands to the right and do a skandasana for a moment, bending our left knee. Now using the help of our hands, lower your pelvis to the ground. So you're gonna keep this wide knees position. So right fingertips reaching behind. You're gonna place your left knee, uh, left elbow against your left inner knee, pressing them against each other. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twisting more to the right. Usually on the twist, we always twist to, towards the bend leg and that create this compression on our lower back, lower belly, which is very nice and important, but I also like to twist in an opposite direction to feel able to breathe freely. So now all the way to runner's lunge facing the front of the mat, lift your pelvis, come up, 
exhale all the way to downward facing dog pressing through your hands inhale here and exhale child's pose maybe having your knees a little wider as wide as your mat big toes touching shifting your pelvis back Take a moment to feel, to connect with the sensations of your body. To the language of your body. And it's your breath that make that connection between body and mind. You cannot ask your mind to come down to calm down just by asking. But through your breath, you can make your mind to slow down by elongating your exhalation by Pay, play, paying close attention to the sensations of the air that comes in and out. By grounding your mind into this moment. Inhale right here. Exhale right now. Walk your hands to your knees and start to come up. Then you're going to slide your legs forward. So sitting here. One forward fold. So come really close to the top of your mat. Ground through your sit bones. And you're going to lengthen through your spine. Maybe press your hands by your side, beside your pelvis. And as you exhale, hinging from your pelvis, reach forward, grab whatever you reach, could be your shins, ankles, or feet. Inhale, use your hands to, uh, to, to pull yourself forward, lift your lower belly, lift your chest. And as you exhale, still pulling with your hands, bend your elbows, and relax here. And I know that it is still too early to feel good on our forward bends. But again, be kind of yourself. Be willing to listen to the language of your body. Every day is a new day. Is a different practice. It's a different body. It's a new you. Inhale. Look forward. Lift halfway. Exhale here. Inhale. Come up. And as you exhale, lay down on your back. Let's have the soles of our feet together, Baddha Konasana. Just for a moment, place your right hand on your belly, left hand on your chest. I like this connection of my hands to my torso. So I can connect deeply with the sensations of my breath. And once again, inhale right here. Exhale right now.
Relax your arms by your side and extend your legs away from the midline, allow your toes to point out to the side for Shavasana. Allow your face to soften. Soften your jaw. Allow your body to rest into the ground. Allow your mind to rest into your heart. If you have more time to stay in Shavasana, I would like you to stay. I encourage you to be here a little longer. But if you are ready to close this practice with me, you start to bring small movements to your body, starting with your fingers and toes, Maybe moving your head side to side. Feel free to add any other movement. If you like to stretch. And eventually you're going to find your way to come to a seated pose. Let's bring our hands together in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, lift your heart to your hands, elongate your spine. And exhale, bow your head to yourself. With gratitude, we close this practice. Namaste.